Yeah, yeah, this is your boy T Nasty Red Hat Sussaholic, and we got another dope video for y'all. It's Guess Who's the Fuck Boy? Hella fine title. I love it. Cut, they do amazing shit over there, and I haven't seen it. First time reacting to it, so let's get to this reaction. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Let's get to it. I'm Brock, by the way. Brock? Oh my god, was there ever more of a boy name than Brock? Sheesh. <laughs> What's wrong, Brock? Hi. What are you doing here today? I was told I was going to guess who is a fuckboy. How would you define fuckboy? Uh, somebody who prioritizes maximizing the number of people they sleep with. They do the same things over and over again, try and make you feel special, but have the same lines. They're unoriginal. Why do you think you are able to do this? Because I've been around it a lot. And I've seen Damn. Dudes take Maybe I'm a fuck boy. <laughs> no, I, I certainly hope not. Do you think only men can be fuck boys? Absolutely not. I have been through my fuck boy stage. But I'm pretty honest. I don't lie. So I think fuck boys lie. So in addition to guessing the fuck boy, I'm also not a fuck boy. Guess some other dating personalities. I'm gonna bring you up. Cause I like to tell the truth. Everyone you're gonna see today, self-identify with the. I mean, they would have to. I was wondering how you scientifically figured that out. Clingy as fuck. Fuck boy. Oh, gender neutral fuck boy. Habitual ghoster. So what's a total package? Is that just a perfect person? Yeah, that's like the catch. Uh, no such thing. Hopeless romantic. Yeah. Uh, you don't see too much of that anymore, huh? The mama's boy. Oh, I'm a little bit of a mama's boy. I'm eager to meet somebody who self-identifies as the crazy one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think it's so she looks crazy. I hate crazy fuck women, bro. It's weird because it's like a lot of women are out there crazy. No disrespect, but it's crazy that you guys self identify as these, by the way. It's fucking nuts, man. The total bad women can get crazy, bro. Who thinks that? Like, no bullshit. What's your name? Mazzy. You ever been in a relationship before? I guess everybody's a little bit. I guess everybody's a little bit crazy. You know what I'm saying? I can get crazy sometimes, but not like about fucking the, the like weirdo crazy. To do karaoke. I sang uh, Say It Ain't So by Weezer. Say It Ain't So. Not a crazy person song. Not the song of a ghoster. Do you feel like you constantly need to be around people? Yes, I cannot be alone. You cannot be alone. I can't be alone. I'm thinking clinky as fuck. And what are you like looking for right now? Cool, funny people, and sex. And love. I don't think she's clingy. I'm gonna give you habitual ghoster. I'm just gonna say that because you said you're in it for sex. In like 10 years, where do you see yourself relationship-wise? I have no Th that idea. That makes... Um, I definitely need to work on myself a lot before I get there, so... The ghoster one, I can see that one. You're not even close to crazy. A completely non-judgmental way. I think you're clingy as fuck. <laughs> there you are. I think she's the ghoster. Hi, I'm Sophie. Nice to meet you, Ashton. I like your outfit. You look nice giving Dolly Parton with them boots. Thank you. Sometimes <laughs> I feel like a Western star, and you know, today's that day. Tell me about yourself. I work in tech, hobbies, photography, art. You're very put together. How would you think your previous partners have, would describe you? In some of the past relationships didn't really go too well. I think she's trying too hard. Once. I learned my lesson. No, you can't be the total package and you're cheating. How would your partner describe you? Confident, sexy. <laughs> Carrying a teddy bear sometimes, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my gut and say hopeless romantic. Okay, I believe you to be, Ashton, the total package. Congratulations. Oh, wow. You're all that in a bag of chips. The total package? <laughs> yeah. What's up? Hello. I'm a female, yeah. we're on a first date, all right? I don't uh, know what that is. What is I'm, that? I'm <laughs> sipping a drink, he's not saying anything. Oh, I don't know what that was. What's your favorite thing to do on a, on a nice sunny day? On a sunny day, I kind of like, um, I love going to Gasworks Park with my friends. Oh, nice. Uh, is that, is that all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. That's Mom's all you got? Boy. I don't date anymore. You don't date anymore? No, I already made a relationship. I have a kid, so it's- Oh, you have a kid? kid? Down the line, yeah. Wow. Oh, never mind, then. Clingy as fuck. When was the last time you lived with your mom? About a year ago. You close with your parents? Uh, yeah, my dad passed Ooh. when I was 12, so it's just my okay. mom. How important is the parent? Mama's boy. Okay, I guess it's an important part because, you know, I respect my mom and for mm -hmm. what she's done, so. I'm thinking either total package or, like, hopeless rom romantic. A mama's boy. It seem like there's much wrong with you from what I'm seeing. It's definitely mama's love. boy. Yeah, I love love. Nice. What do you like about it? It's beautiful because, you know, you can, it's always growing. I'm thinking hopeless romantic right now. Could be a mama's boy. You're the, you're a sweet. You know that about yourself, huh? Mama's boy. I'm go with mama's boy. And there you have go. a nice face. You look well cared for. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey. 
Well, they're not attention-seeking. I think a fuckboy wants the attention because attention would maximize the likelihood that I they wish I fucking, fuck. you know, remember those fucking okay. How would you describe yourself in a relationship? Very loving. I'm usually the role of, like, the listener. Clingy. Why are you saying clingy? It was a couple of things he said, like, he's a good listener. The most clingy partners I've had have also been good listeners and also just loving. Okay. Why, why'd you put quotations around loving? Oh, that's my own personal trauma. Mm. Are you mingling? I mean, no. <laughs> the, uh, no. the last relationship did not end super well. She just hey, kinda... my bro, he, no, no disrespect, but look at him, right? He's trying to hold on to everything he possibly can get, bro, because it ain't, it ain't no woman, like, after him like that, you know what I'm saying? They're not... Like one, you know what I'm saying? He, he can take what he gets, you know what I'm saying? So instead of him wanting to be single for the rest of his life, he's going to treat the one he's with the best way he can. He's going to be all super tight, super close. Like, hey, who was that texting you? Don't leave me for another dude type. He looks like that. No, not trying to be judgy, but he looks like that type that fucking is like, hey, I can't lose this one, you know what I mean? Because it will tell him when I'm going to get a, a female after this, you know what I'm saying? After this relationship, because he probably, like, like I said, no disrespect, but just look at him, right? It's not like he get women off there, right? He probably goes, like, years at a time without having a date or dating someone. So I'm sure he's like, okay, as soon as I get one, I'll be up her ass the whole time because I'm not going through this whole single life without no pussy, you know what I'm saying? He just looks like that type, bro. Like I said, no disrespect. <laughs> kind of came out of nowhere and broke up with me, man. You know, I think hopeless romantic is like the See? best one. So yeah, hopeless rom. That was a good one. Confidence with the fucking chain. <laughs> but you look cool. I'm Brock. That was a good. One. Brock. Brock. Oh my God! Was there ever more of a fuckboy <laughs> name than Brock? What's your like ideal date? Like describe it. Uh, it's probably like a hike. You're getting out there, but also like there's lots of room to talk. Right, uh, right. Get to know each other. Talking. He's the hopeless yeah. romantic. Not characteristic of a fuckboy. What is your relationship status right now? I am currently in a relationship. How long have you been in that relationship? Two years. Two years. Wow. Hopeless that's romantic. Awesome. How's it going? Were, were you expecting less? No, that's <laughs> awesome. Good for you, Brock. Thank you. I'm gonna give you total package. He looks like he wants to die. The one who's been in the New special the shit. Longest. Rose right. petals in the bed, the flowers man. and stuff like that. Tell me about yourself. Go out a lot. I like to get She's the fuck boy. Puzzles. You go out a lot. You go to a lot of raves. Yeah. Oh, wild. wild. I call it or not. She's the fuck boy. Huh, okay. And what is your relationship status right now? Because cut, they like to fucking throw little curveballs at you and shit. You think a fuck boy, you got boy in the title, so it can't be a fucking female, right? I think she's the fuck boy. No. Single, but still seeing my ex. Are you dating other people as well, or just your ex? I'm not really dating, maybe just like, fucking to cope. Wow. Fuck boy. Powerful. Yeah. That should be on a shirt, fucking to cope. Avery, Fuck what is some of your toxic traits? No I'm lie. I'm of sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm feeling similar vibes here. Okay. I am gonna go with fuck boy, because when they walked in, TBH. I think she, she's dealing with them all, I think. So. Sorry, Brock. <laughs> you have a cheat? No. Except for the hopeless romantic one. <laughs> You know the fish sauce? Mm hmm Probably pour it in a car. Man, yeah, you the crazy one, yo. Go ahead, just take that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the crazy one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn right. it. Hello. I'm Dusty, and apparently the crazy one. It wasn't because I was looking down the line. I just, this has been a real trip. How long? I, I agree with her more than others. Demisexual? Besides the hopeless so romantic with the If I am uh, interested in them emotionally and stuff, then yeah, I'm totally down to have sex right then yeah. and there. A couple months ago was the first time I went out with another person again. A couple months ago. Mm -hmm. How long was the interval of time you waited? I was like three years. Before he's, you went he's out a crazy one. Yeah. Oh my God. You are not a fuck boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead and hop back in line. All right, how do you think you did? I think I did all right. Somewhere along like these first three, I definitely messed up somewhere. Maybe I got three right, and if I'm being optimistic, four? Raise your hand if you got you right. Oh. What? Oh, Only got fuck. one right? Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't nail it. Okay, I'm happy about that one. Go ahead and switch signs to the sign that's yours. I didn't get it. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. See, I knew I messed that one up. 
Okay. I, I did say the curveball, and she was the fuck boy. She was female, and she was the fuck boy. So, yeah. The crazy one. Yes. And you really got me. She looks crazy. Oh, All right, we'll make she got crazy. me on that one. Um, I'm just bipolar, and I never take that medication. Are you trying to take ownership <laughs> over that word? Yeah, I think like, you know, with a lot of words that are like taboo to use now, people who like associate, like are trying to take back those words. Listen, no bullshit, from personal experience, like all about uh, bipolar, bipolar. That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want. I can't even fucking talk. Uh, uh, all the uh, relationships I've been in and shit, the bipolar ones. Always felt like they were either not bipolar or they didn't knew they were bipolar and they didn't want to take their meds because they didn't want to have to rely on medicine the rest of their life and stuff. I know a lot of friends and exes and stuff like that. They always feel the same way. It's like pretty, I think it was like only one ex that I knew she knew that she was bipolar and she had to take medicine for it. But majority of them that I know didn't want to take their medicine for it. I mean, and, and I can understand it. You don't want to fucking have to pop pills. You don't want to have to. You want to be normal, so you don't want to fucking have to depend on pills for the rest of your life and stuff. And I get it, bro. I really do. It's and like, you know, crazy is one of them. Yeah. How do you how do you feel about that word being thrown around, crazy? Mental. Um, I think people don't use it how I would. Oh, sorry for pausing, but like, for me, for instance, right? I grew up like, if you're a bad kid, then you're a bad kid. Was it no fucking, uh, you know? ADHD and all that. I, I was raised with black parents who was very stern. So if you act up, you got the fucking belt. And if you kept acting up, you kept getting the belt. So in order not to keep getting the belt, you fucking straighten your ass up, right? <laughs> so I grew up old school thinking like, hey, they just these kids just don't get enough whippings. You know what I mean? But raising a, a son who had ADHD and stuff like that, I, I get it, so I'm more understanding of it now. So, when it comes to mental health, I understand more of it now, and I'm, and I won't ever judge anymore like I used to. Like I always said, my thing was, oh, these, ain't no of these kids. This is a good ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that anymore because I, I have a full, full understanding of mental health now. So, I get what these people what are coming say, from like with taking medicine and stuff. So, use crazy like. Oh, you're gonna key my car, you know. Not that I have done right. That, slice your tires. Exactly. Sugar in the tank. I knew it. I knew it. Like as soon as, like as soon as you walked back, I, I wanted to switch it. Really? Yeah. It's because because you were so hard to read, and oftentimes, like when when you're a fuck boy and you have operations like that, and you can become hard to read. Sounds stupid to say after the fact, but I also had a feeling because of the way they looked at me. How did they look at you? There was like a little bit of like sizing up. I mean, I looked at you. Yeah. I do pretty good at these cut videos, man. Well, what makes you this is where I was boy. totally off on. I think it's the confidence aspect, and I would be direct and tell them certain yeah. things. And if you don't, damn man, she was the cheater too. She not, cheated. Even, that is a you problem, not my job. Oof. Damn when it. I hurt somebody. I give them those eyes, and I'm like, yo. I fucked up on that one. Can I Definitely. see you? the eyes? So I saw you huh? doing that. Oh, what? hi, hi. hi. You, you really like that drink a lot. I hate this drink. You hate it. You should buy another one. I should buy another one? That you're coming up to me and asking me to I mean, buy my... I I'm telling you, if you hate it, why not? Do I change it? You're right. Do I with friends or anything? I'm alone. I brought a book. I don't know if I want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> mama's boy, got him right. First of all, I love a self-proclaimed mama's boy. I'm a mom, and those kind of boys who don't recognize it try and make me their mom, and that's not cute. What's your favorite memory with your mother? I would wake up when I was a kid. She would make me a butter and jelly sandwich. And you tell his mama dressed his ass, though. I don't know why I remember that, but yeah, I remember that. Because it's special to you, core memory. There's nothing wrong with being a mama's boy, though. I consider myself a little bit of one, so you got me. Trey, I get you right? Oh, yeah. What makes you a hopeless romantic? I'm not really trying to play around. I'm trying right. to, oh, you're trying well, to get to know somebody, serious. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That could, that could yeah. fall in the line of a clingy as fuck, right? And all that. I mean, come on. So yeah. I was, was kind of close with that one. Oh, you're a musician, too? That's dope, man. Yeah. I yeah. feel like this this uh, phrase comes with some weird connotation sometimes. He's a musician. He, I feel like if if I had a, a instrument, I'd give this motherfucker. It'd probably be the saxophone.
saxophone. Saxophone. <laughs> he like he plays a saxophone, bro. No bullshit. Take me out wrong. Leave, leave, leave it in the comments and let me know what you think he plays. I got the sex on my phone. <laughs> I feel like people use this term to like make themselves look better when they are somebody that like needs to work on themselves. Hmm. What's up, you fucking dick? I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Would like total to package. Out, I was told I would fit this by my girlfriend. I was gonna ask. I think you were saving fuckboy for me though. I was save. I was saving it, but like after talking to you, honestly, I got. I don't. I don't. I didn't get that vibe. Oh, okay. I think you're a cool dude. And How much money do you make? You probably have a lot of positive qualities. Uh, I think that. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry for pausing, but in order to be a total package, you have to have a lot of money. You gotta be fucking packing, and you gotta be good looking. Is that a pause moment? Should I pause on that one? About the package shit. Pause. Nobody is the total package. I would. I would agree. Kind of like a. A synonym would be like a good partner, right? And that's what I kind of me. identify as. Just trying to I'll, nonstop better myself. So, sorry, if I pause it again. Me, because I would like to consider myself the total package. You know what I'm saying? Not the total package, like the typical total package, but like you know what I'm saying? Goddamn Lex Luger total package. You know what I'm saying? You remember the torture rack Lex Luger from WWE? I'm that type of total package. You know what I'm saying? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Respect hey, I like that sweater, bro. And her, herself as a person and, um, I date you, dude. You, you're killing it. I'm taking it. <laughs> clingy as fuck. Damn, I was close, though. You're not crazy, you're clingy. Yeah. Sisters, those two. Clingy, okay. clingy and crazy. And crazy. Yeah. What makes you clingy? Yeah. I get, like, separation anxiety. Yeah, you're like a puppy. Yeah, literally like a lost puppy. <laughs> but does your ex-boyfriend know this is you? Like, yeah, he he knows. <laughs> Even though I had my own car, I like a little clingy, but clingy as fuck. It can get so, annoying a little. To be honest, I, I just think she. I had baby. I'm I'm gonna go hang out with my you, fucking friends and stuff. Making the men in your life. And she's like, oh, can I come? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. Nice to I'm going to hang out with my fucking you. friends. You know what I'm saying? This comes as a. Uh, go find your friends and go like, hang no, out with them. I don't like I see the tag. I kind of <laughs> see like, where it's like. I oh, said I don't like being around my. my exactly. Whoever I'm dating. Like, just like, like will you clean your ass up? I'm like a fuckboy, but the ghoster has always been the thing that stayed. Alright. On the clingy thing, right? I like them clingy at like a certain level of clingy, right? I don't like the clingy where you have to, whenever I'm shitting, you have to fucking open the door and watch me shit type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I like the shit at peace. Like, shit is my, it's like hang around, hanging out with the boys, it's like me time, or taking a shit. I'm, I'm open to anything else, but those two things. If I'm going out with my friends for a couple of drinks or just to play 2K or Madden or something, you know what I'm saying? Just to fucking hang out with my boys. I said, I don't need you fucking, hey, where are you going? What are you doing? Da 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 You know what I'm saying? Or when I'm taking a shit. I like to take a shit and be by myself when I'm shitting. So I don't need you walking in the motherfucking door like, hey, what are you doing? Are you, sh <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? I hate that type of clean. You know what I'm saying? Because I'd be like, hey, let's do things. And then the next day I'm like, I have. <laughs> Not that everybody ever did that to me. Someone hurts But me I hate when you open times, the door while I'm shit. I'm like, okay. I pisses me off. Ah, you ghost, but only as a consequence of mis- Especially right when I'm about to take the shit. Like, it's about to come out. You fuck walk in. I have to fucking cut it off. Like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm motherfucker trying to shit right now. What are you doing? Close the door. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's treatment. Yeah, I'm saying so. Right. It's uh, just so much easier when you're the one deciding. Right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who surprised you the most? Ashton surprised me the most. The gender neutral fuckboy. When I hear the term fuckboy, I'm well aware that it can span the strata of demographic, but immediately an image pops to mind, and that image looks very different than what looks like. I think we're all kind of those things at one time, so it's hard for me to identify. And you can't really judge people yeah. by how they look. Not all fuckboys look like Brock. I think everybody was cool and everybody was chill. Yeah, but that's the end of the video. Hey, make sure y'all leave a like.
comment and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to make the channel grow. I mean, I know there's a lot of content added on YouTube and stuff, so it's hard to find gems like me. <laughs> gems like me, but if you do come across your boy, make sure you hit that like, bro. Make sure you subscribe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just help your brother out, bro. But this is the end of the video, man. This is your boy T Nasty, and I'm out.